Okay, another question on factorising then. So reminding us, three types of factorising, common factor, difference of two squares, and trinomial. Okay, and this one clearly not a difference of two squares, because there are three things. There is no common factors, because some things have x's and some don't. So, it looks like it's a trinomial. So, to do trinomials, what we look at is the last number, and the last number is a positive 6. Okay, so what the positive 6 tells you, that the two things in the bracket that are multiplying together must be the same. And that to get this, the number in the middle, that they are adding together. Okay, the thing in the middle then is a minus 5x. Well, we said the signs were the same. Two positive numbers don't generate negatives, but two negatives do. So they must both be minuses. So what we know about our brackets is it's something with minuses in it to get us the 5, okay, by adding. So if we go through our options then, to make x squared, it's x and x. And to make the number 6, it could be 1 and 6, or it could be 2 and 3. So if we cross multiply, that would give us x and 2x. That would give us 6x and 3x. And we're looking for the two combinations that add together to give you the number 5. Okay, what about the minus in a second? So 1 and 6 give you 7, 2 and 3 give you 5. So these are the two. We know they're both minuses. So it's going to be the x squared minus 5x, then is x minus 2 x minus 3. 